Hey YouTube, this is a, uh, another video on my Nano Reef rebuild, and uh, the rebuild is moving along pretty well. I have a lot of things done and a lot of videos on the way. If you'll remember my last video, it was about my DIY sump tank. I showed you guys it assembled but not really functioning or even holding any water. So the purpose of this video is hopefully I'm going to get some water in it, and then see how she runs. Alright, so I'm going to start here by filling the two outboard chambers first, the return chamber and the skimmer chamber, and I'll see how they hold water. And now uh, you can see here the return chambers filled up, and now I'm going to get started with the skimmer chamber, and as I'm filling it up here, it looks pretty good. So we'll take a look at it from the side here, and you can see that holding water pretty well. I'm trying to show you in these camera views here that uh, no water is leaking into the bubble traps, but it's really hard to see from the angle of the camera there. But now I'm going to let that sit a while and see how it holds up against the test of time. Okay, so now it's time to start filling the refugium or the center chamber. And we'll see if that holds up as well as the uh, first two chambers. So far you can see here that it looks like it's holding water rather well, no leaking anywhere, so now we can move on to the next step, which is testing it out and seeing how it works. So this is for the cool part anyway. We'll see if it works as it's intended to work. Uh, I have a small maxi jet pump here that I'm going to test it out with first. Uh, might be between 100 and 200 gallons per hour, if that. And, uh, As you can see here, the, the gallons per hour just aren't really high enough to get the full feel of what it's going to work. But you can see the bubble traps are filling up. And the water is spilling over into the next chamber, so it looks like it's working pretty well, but we'll get the bigger pump in there and see what it looks like. And so for the real test, I'm going to use my Quiet One 2200, 500 plus gallons per hour return pump that I'm actually going to be using on the system when it's all set up. And uh, you can see here it's all fired up and running. And right off the bat, you can see the difference in flow and off the baffles and stuff like that. I put my refugium light on here so you can see things a little better. So. You can see the pump is actually forcing the water up over the bubble trap almost three quarters of an inch. It's not a terrible thing, but it's uh, not desired, so so maybe I'll have to find a way to tone the uh, flow back a little. But right now I'm pretty excited. Uh, this is one big step complete in the whole Nano Reef rebuild. And so that's all I really wanted to show you today. Uh, my next video will be on the stand. I have that started, and it's moved along pretty nicely. But for now, we'll just take some close-ups of the running sump. And uh, any questions, comments, please leave them below, and I'll try and get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.